What's up everybody? You're here today with Ben from Fast Performance and Corbin from Johnson Tuning. And we're here today to talk to you about the new GT500 MoTeC M150 package. As you've probably already seen, uh, we developed the MoTeC package with the GT350. Uh, we've done a lot of those, uh, shown what the system's capable of, but we want to talk to you today about the new GT500 package, how it's different, what features it offers you, uh, what features it offers for the supercharged guys. Um, behind me, we have my supercharged 1000R uh, 21 carbon fiber track pack car. Uh, that car makes right about 1,000 horsepower to the wheels and does have MoTeC on it, so we'll be able to display those features on a supercharged car, as well as Corbin's 2020 uh, twin turbo development car, uh, Corbin's car is pretty special because we've used it to develop our twin turbo system for the GT500 as well as it was used to develop the firmware at MoTeC. Uh, Corbin worked really closely with VIT at MoTeC there to uh, develop the firmware, you know, critique all the features, make sure everything works really well, uh, and his is the first car running on a uh, MoTeC M150 package. Uh, today we're going to go over some of the features this comes with. We got uh, boost by gear, launch control, uh, traction control, uh, your power can be adjusted via drive modes. Um, we've got rolling anti-lag, uh, it's a true flex fuel system, um, advanced data logging, and then everybody's favorite feature, uh, ghost cam. Uh, so Corbin, can you kind of go through some of those features with us and expound on them a little bit? Sure, so as a lot of you probably already know, the stock ECU um, has been capable as well as it has a lot of downfalls. Uh, one of those is the inconsistencies on launching, a lot of TCM faults that a lot of guys are fighting, especially when you start to make power. Uh, we're really limited on what we can do on the TCM side of things. But our main focus with the MoTeC package is obviously trying to get around those as well as provide you the features that a lot of you guys have seen on the GT350 packages. Um, the cool thing about it is we're interfacing with the factory TCM um, with the MoTeC now, but we're able to get around a lot of those limitations that uh, the stock ECU has. Um, namely, you know, with the launch, uh, we can control the amount of torque on the launch as well as uh, how much uh, the clutch slips. Um, you can also launch it above the factory limited 3200 RPM. For example, you know, we've launched my car up to 4800 RPM with no issues of clutch slip or TCM faulting. We can also adjust the uh, torque management on the shift, which is a big thing that on the stock ECU, you don't have that capability as well. So um, that's just a, a roundabout way of how the MoTeC is going to work with the TCM um, given our current limitations, but you also have the ability to use things like what Ben was already mentioning with, you know, per gear boost control is, is huge when you couple that with our custom traction control strategy. So that allows you that, you know, even on these cars that are making 1200 plus horsepower, you know, that allows you the ability to still be able to floor the car, you know, 20 inch street tires, first gear, no problem, right? Um, which on the stock ECU, it's not really possible, right? Um, well now on, so just to touch on that real quick. So um, everybody knows on a turbo car, uh, we can do boost by gear. So we can control, you can have six pounds of first gear, eight pounds, 12 pounds, you go through the gears. Exactly. Um, how are we gonna do, we can't obviously control the boost per gear on a supercharged car, but so how is that gonna control the power through the gears and right. through the drive modes? So on the supercharged car, it's kind of special, but it, it still gets a lot of these capabilities, right? So with a supercharged car, we're actually able to limit the power per gear and that's implemented with a throttle limit. That also gives you the ability that with our true flex fuel system, you can still run a setup that say is, you know, would normally only be for E85 and you could still safely run that on 93. And that's also with a throttle limit based on the ethanol percentage, um, which that's something that with stock ECU is not possible as well. So it gives you a lot of flexibility there to be able to um, run a setup without having to change pulleys, without having to change tunes. Um, so it's really hassle free. Yeah. So the, and so the, you know, encompassing that too with the trash control, it's adjustable. We've got nine different levels, right. uh, trash control on a supercharged car or a turbo car, either one, when you're making yeah. thousand horsepower, yeah. you can put just about anybody in it yeah. and they can safely drive the car, keep the car under control. Right. Yeah. So that, that's the cool thing about with the MoTeC is that, uh, we can adjust how much tire slip you want on the fly while you're driving the car. And we do that and we'll show you in the car whenever we demonstrate it, but you can adjust uh, on the fly what uh, uh, slip aim you wanna have. So for example, um, and we'll show it in the car, but uh, we use the factory buttons and the map will be indicated on the tachometer. So, you know, if you want the car to have more tire slip, less tire slip, or, you know, just like factory, you could still turn the traction control completely off um, if that's, you know, what you need for that specific instance. So, um, you know, still gives you a lot of uh, adjustability on the fly, which is great. 
Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so something else that a lot of people don't know about the Motec or they don't really realize is one of the most valuable features is the engine protections. We've had some instances uh, with customer cars even that uh, everybody knows about the oil filter issue in the GT350s collapsing and that drops oil pressure can kill your engine. And we've saved what, two, three cars? Yeah, at least three. I mean, three yeah. cars that I can think of off the top of my head that, you know, that's that alone is worth the investment of Motec. Plus you get obviously all the other features, but the fail safes are probably one of the things that is one of the most valuable, but the least emphasized. Um, you know, the, at all times the ECU is monitoring you know, on these cars, we use uh, level three logging, which, you know, we're data logging somewhere around 800 channels, which is gonna give you over an hour of data logging on loop. The ECU is always data logging. So if anything were to happen, um, you could always see the last hour plus of your driving, um, which is extremely valuable, especially if, you know, if you're out driving the car, you don't have to worry about having a laptop or anything of that nature. The ECU is doing it all internally. Um, on top of that, obviously, being that it's monitoring all of these, both engine and trans related channels, uh, we implement fail safes. So there's dozens of fail safes. You know, that includes um, all your pressures, oil pressure, fuel pressure, temperatures. So, you know, your uh, oil temp, coolant temp, inlet temp, um, as well as sensor faults. So, for example, if any sensor was to not read correctly, if a sensor is unplugged or whatever the case may be, um, it's going to implement a fail safe. Basically, the way that works, check engine light's going to illuminate. Um, and then we usually set a low rev limit, for example, 3000 RPM. You can still drive the car back to the pits. You can plug in a laptop, see exactly what the fault is, when it occurred, why it occurred, and then you can address that. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a super valuable feature. Um, and then we also have uh, flex fuel that actually yeah. works. Like, yeah. So it's not like the stock ECU where it's just, you know, kind of tricking things. It's right. actually looking at ethanol content. Right, so the stock ECU flex fuel, while it's capable, um, it has a lot of downfalls because it's, it's an inferred ethanol content, right? So it's, it doesn't use a sensor, um, and it uses it purely based on the O2 sensor feedback. Um, while it works somewhat well for what it needs to do, on a setup like this, you're not going to want to re you know, rely on a sensorless flex fuel system. So these use a sensor, um, and obviously it will automatically adjust the power, not only based on drive mode, but based on ethanol content. So you could safely run the cars, pump and go, any blend of 93 to E85 or even higher. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So I think our next step is going to be to, you know, take these guys out on the track and show you how some of these features work and talk about them a little bit more. Yep. You ready to do it? Yep. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are out here on the track in the 1000R supercharged uh, M150 car, cruising around. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, you know, drivability. Uh, car drives, you know, basically like stock, you cruise around, you have all the features. Uh, there is no, you know, aftermarket gauges, no aftermarket switches inside the car. Everything is 100% controlled with the factory buttons on the steering wheel. Uh, you know, we repurpose some of the gauges for some of the features. Um, even in those instances, they still perform their factory function, so you don't have to worry about losing those. Uh, you know, we're, we're really big fans of, you know, keeping everything to look as clean as possible. Um, you know, back in the day, people used to love having switches and stuff everywhere in their cars, but you know, things are changing. It's a lot nicer to be able to use factory controls and, and keep that uh, look inside the car. Um, you know, we have all the uh, power adjustability by drive modes, you know, so like right now we're in track mode, uh, you know, we could drop down to normal mode uh, or even sport mode and re reduce the power a little bit, um, get into drag mode for full power, and then of course the ghost cam feature. Can you talk a little bit about how uh, the MoTeC controls power, uh, traction control, how that works, how the MoTeC controls power by gear since we don't have the option to control boost? Yeah, so basically Mo MoTeC is now, uh, you know, we have the ability that we can adjust the power even with a supercharged setup uh, and we implement a throttle limit in order to achieve that. So, uh, for example, you know, if you're in normal mode, we have it to where the car uh, you know, make substantially less power than in track or drag mode. Um, you know, in this particular car, I think normal mode, we limited to 650 horsepower. Um, and then as you step up through the drive modes, um, you know, sport, track, drag, um, you get to the full thousand horsepower. Um, we also implement a throttle limit based on the ethanol content so that, you know, even this setup that is probably too much boost to run safely on pump gas, um, we can still do that. And, Again, we're implementing a, a limit based on the current ethanol percentage. And, th and that's a big deal because you can't do that on the stock ECU. I mean, you, right. you can run a car that makes 1,000 horsepower on E85 
and you can set it up to run a flex wheel, but right. you, you can't really floor it yeah, on so, pump gas at that situation because right. you're just going to run too much boost. Yeah, with the stock ECU, you're basically forced to change pulleys, change tunes. It's a hassle. Um, whereas with the MoTeC, you know, we set up a, a, a complete package that works well in the 85, and we're still able to run that on, you know, straight 93 octane. So. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's a big benefit. I mean, we have a lot of customers that want the option to be able to run pump gas if they get stuck somewhere or if they just don't have it available at the time or you know some guys might not have a 85 around them at all and they run it in a you know they buy a yeah. drum and so they have it at their garage yeah but if they're out cruising around they want to be able to switch to pump gas and you still want to be able to floor right. your car right like you right. don't want to have to have to like oh i can make it to the next destination but you know i can't floor the car so yeah this is true flex fuel so you can literally run any blend of 93 to e85 or even higher um and then right. the ecu will automatically adjust uh, accordingly yeah for sure um, and we've got all you know all factory mag ride all that stuff works um, we're fully integrated with all the factory systems there's no uh really nothing to sacrifice when you, no. when you set this up there's no sacrifice only benefits yeah. really yeah yeah all right we've got the car up to temperature now we're gonna pull over here and do get, get ready to do a couple uh power pull shots for you guys So we're gonna do launch control here. Um, we're gonna turn traction control off to yeah, the factory button. Off. And then we're gonna go into track mode. Yep. All right. But you can launch in any mode depending on you know what your conditions are, or what you're looking to achieve based on the surface. Right. Um, you can also still select your launch RPM, and that value can be offset in the ECU. So for example, 3,200 RPM could mean uh, 4,200 RPM. Right. So. Yeah, that's one way we get around this stuff. So we're in track mode. Everything's set up here. I'm going to put my foot on the brake. I'm going to floor the gas. And then as soon as we're ready to go, I'm going to slow off the brake, right? Yep. All right, let's get this done. Here we go. All right, guys, so you saw what launch control does with MoTeC. We're going to show you what launch control does without MoTeC. All the fancy features are disabled. Uh, same RPM, same conditions. We're going to floor the gas, and we're going to launch it, and we'll see what happens. So another feature that we're going to demo here for you is the rolling anti-lag. This is a twin turbo only feature. Uh, what it's going to do is uh, Corbin's going to press, it's the cruise set minus, right? Yeah. Press and hold that down at any point uh, when he's driving the car. And when he puts, presses the button down, he's going to floor the gas. And when he floors the gas, it's going to continue to maintain the speed of the car. It's going to build RPM and build boost. And then when he lets go of that button, it's going to launch it from a roll and the trash control is going to kick in. It's going to plant as much power as possible from a roll. It's probably one of my favorite features of the Motec. It's, I would do it all day long, just drive around, roll an anti-lag, one of my favorite features for sure. So uh, as soon as we get around here to a, a good straight, <laughs> I'm going to show you what that uh, feature looks like. All right, so we got roll an anti-lag coming up. We're going to do cruise set minus button. We're going to floor the gas and it's going to launch us from a roll. All right, so we're going to demonstrate the launch control with traction control activated. These are cold tires on a cold track. So let's give it a hell. Of Guys, we're gonna do the launch control with no trash control at all, so you can see the difference between Motec trash control and nothing.
All right, guys, thanks for joining us today. That was a ton of fun. I hope that you learned everything you need to learn about the new MoTeC M150 package for the GT500. However, if you didn't, you can drop a comment below and we can answer it there. You can reach out to Corbin at Johnson Tuning or directly to us at Fat House. Feel free to give us a call, email, uh, send us a message on social media either way. Um, additionally, if you're looking to do a MoTeC M150 on your personal build at home, uh, reach out to Corbin directly at Johnson Tuning. He can set you up with a uh, package for that, including all the parts, tuning, everything. He's one of the uh, top 10 uh, MoTeC Premier dealers for 2020, which means he's got a lot of experience in this. He's worked with us through the twin turbo packages on the GT350s, um, helped develop the package as well. So there's nobody better to have do the MoTeC package for your car than Corbin. Um, also, if you're interested in a full build, uh, you'd like to do one of our packages at Fat House, reach out to us directly and we can help you out with that. And uh, thanks for joining us, guys.